Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Zane JJ. Today we're coming back with a video basically talking about validators and of course on this video itself we are going to focus more on Genosis and of course it's one of the projects out there that is basically allowing you to run a validator slash staking and of course it's not like those uh I would say fake or delegation staking. Basically you, you need to have the hardware and after that from there you need to have some requirements to basically set it up. So I would say the setup progress itself is uh, fairly simple and of course with this video itself i hope you guys can understand more about genosis validators and of course from there you might would uh, you might consider running one yourself and of course to experience uh, in depth into like the world of cryptocurrency it's just not only like uh, buying dogecoin and making millions off of it but of course it's basically dive more into it learning how to secure the network and what is much more than just buying holding and after that learning to transact this cryptocurrency instead you can be one of them to basically secure the blockchain with your hardware and of course with your knowledge so without further ado if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button turn on post notification and leave a thumbs up to this video and of course i do have a patreon basically link down below if you want to support the channel click on it and of course without further ado we're gonna jump into this topic talking about what is genosis first for everybody who have, uh, is basically looking for some passive income opportunities so we here I would say we're gonna basically talk about Genosis first and of course without further ado let's jump into it and of course I do have some affiliate links down below where you can buy Genosis, you can buy the hardware and stuff like this to support the channel and of course we're gonna jump into it on CoinMarketCap first. So on CoinMarketCap itself we can see this sticker itself is called Genosis and their ticker is GNO and of course it is currently ranked at 114 and of course we can see as of today the price of Genosis itself is 88.42 dollars and I would say that this over here Genosis itself has a very hard very huge potential to basically reach like a thousand dollars or something like that why is that so it's simple because of the total supply so you can see the max supply itself has basically three millions of these genosis that is going to be circulating slash generated uh in the whole uh, ecosystem and of course three million itself is very scared uh very scared and of course you can see the scarcity of it is very little it's very uh limited supply the supply is very very limited you can see it's just only three million and of course, we want to verify if you click on Ethereum itself, you can see that the tracker itself is telling us that oh, the max supply is 10 million uh, Genosis. But of course, there's a proposal being done to basically reduce the total supply of GNO to basically 3 million and it has passed. And of course, as of today, this is the DAO, the snapshot itself, GIP35. The total target, the target total supply should be only 3 million Genos. And after that, from there, you can see that this over here has already been. Uh, verified and of course people are not against it people are basically supporting it to basically reduce the supply to 3 million and of course to be honest with this 3 million being uh, done itself basically the total supply of this genosis token is really been slashed by a lot from 10 million to 3 million and after that from there i would say this over here you can see this price itself does not really justify the max supply itself to be honest and after that from there we can see that this over here has a very huge potential to grow because it is basically, if you want to talk about what is Genosis itself, I would say if you look at Ethereum itself, it, Genosis itself is like a testnet slash a little brother towards Ethereum itself. And after that, from there, it is doing whatever Ethereum is doing. It's basically like a fork off of Ethereum. And of course, if you know about uh, this DAI stablecoin itself, it is basically using the DAI stablecoin as well. To basically, there's a collaboration within uh, between Genosis uh, previously. And of course, uh, DAI Foundation, they say they have merged together to basically form this project and of course go ahead with this project and of course from there i would say this is basically what you need to know about genosis and i would say this is not financial advice to ask you to buy the token and hold a bunch of it but of course it's just for you to understand that what is this genosis all about and of course from there we can see that on the market itself you can basically purchase genosis in a lot of exchanges like binance coinbase exchange kraken uh, of course on the uniswap decentralized exchange and of course many many more places out there but of course, I personally, I purchase my Genosis through Binance. And of course, sometimes I purchase it through the decentralized exchange using my DAI token to basically swap, off, uh, swap DAI towards Genosis. And after that, from there, just stick it, basically running a validator. So over here, we're going to basically talk about the requirements to run a Genosis validator. So over here, one of the requirements to basically run Genosis itself, first of all, definitely is the first and of course easiest way to basically uh, check the tech mark itself, the check mark itself. First of all, is basically buying the Genosis token itself. You only need one Geno token to basically get started with this validator itself. And of course, compare with Ethereum itself, Ethereum needs 32 Ethereum. And of course, some other coins out there will basically require a higher barrier of entry to basically become a validator slash a master node or whatever you want to call it basically over here. 
So this is one of the requirements to buy one Genos token and after that for this itself you will be convert converted into this thing called an M Genos and after that one Genos, one Genos token equals to 32 M Genos and after that from there we're going to explain to you uh, better uh, much more in depth later on. So we here requirements itself is to buy one itself and of course other than that itself you need to have a uh, software a hardware to basically keep it running 24-7 to basically validate blocks to basically propose blocks and after that from that get rewarded so over here what's the next requirement itself is simple after getting your one genos itself the next requirement itself is to basically have a hardware to do so so over here on this hardware requirement itself uh you need to have at least eight gigabyte of ram and of course to be honest if let's say a project says at least eight gigabyte and of course i would definitely recommend getting uh more more than that itself because you know it, the blockchain itself is always growing and eventually uh, more updates being implemented and stuff like this you will basically be more uh, more readily for uh, future basically it's a future proof stuff you buy uh, buy more stuff and after that from there buy a higher end of specs itself of the hardware to basically be prepared for the uh, further down the road maybe three or five years later it will still be running and of course from there the requirement itself a gigabyte of ram and of course next itself uh basically they say 250 gigabyte itself is more than enough but of course eventually the blockchain of genesis is always growing as similar to ethereum itself therefore a uh, larger ssd slash nvme itself is required so we here remember the keyword itself the 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 memory hardware that you need is basically ssd or nvme because it will have a faster write speed therefore you won't be missing out in blocks so i would say this over here is just one of the two stuff that you need to require to have so over here to make it very simple for you guys itself over here there's a thread talking about how can you set it up basically installing ubuntu and after that from there uh, installing docker and after that a lot of cli basically a lot of command line that is required and of course this port forwarding and stuff like this is definitely required to do so so over here i have a better solution for you guys uh, basically on dm node itself is one of the one of the validators slash uh i would say crypto hardware that you can get to basically run your own um home staking software and of course from there they support a lot of a lot of application on 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 that and of course it's just a simple clicks a few clicks of it and after that you are basically getting started to basically run like your validators on genosis you want to run a bitcoin node feel free to go ahead and of course from there i will say these are the items that they are currently offering over here on the shop itself they have this hopper edition and of course they have one of these uh, i7 uh, 32 x genosis so we have you buy one of these you'll basically getting a 32 gb of ram and after that from there four terabyte of nvme or ssd at a price of 1875 euros if i'm not wrong or pounds yeah i think it's euros and if you scroll down itself you can see over here they have a much more be uh, better version basically over here with this price itself uh, additional or maybe 600 dollars or something like that you will basically get an upgrade of 64 uh basically a 32 additional ram itself towards it basically making it 64 gigabyte this this tier itself if let's say you are really looking to purchase one of these to basically run nodes like genesis or ethereum basically ethereum validator itself definitely 64 gb ram itself is more than enough and of course it is a required amount so for 32 itself if let's say you're running uh, your ethereum nodes 32 G, uh, gb of ram itself is not really sufficient but of course if you are just solely focused on running genesis itself this this price over here i mean this tier itself is more than enough and of course on top of that buying with them you will basically get a free free uh four free genesis uh token itself to basically to be set as your validators and of course the next stuff you want to know is basically i have a discount coupon link down below if you go it over to dm node to purchase uh, and after that enter sc crypto you will get a 35 euro off and after that from there i will say this is the, um, the max i can give you guys over here and of course yes i do earn an affiliate commission on that but not much not a percentage base but of course to be clear and simple and honest with you guys i'm just earning every uh, every time the code is being used you get 35 off i just get 10 dollars or uh, 10 dollars of commissions by selling this type of product itself so i would say super clear on the channel and of course, the next stuff they want to talk about is how am I running my Genosis validator? I'm going to show you the backend and stuff like this. So here I do my I I myself have a DM node basically purchased from them, and after that from there I have basically upgraded the RAM myself. And of course, you can see the RAM that I have is 64 gigabyte, and of course the ter the this space itself is four four terabyte. And after that you can see I previously I got a 32 one, but of course eventually I was running the Ethereum node, and of course eventually Ethereum node itself was deemed uh taking lots of ram therefore i upgraded my own ram itself it's a very simple stuff just buy the ram online and after i just switch the switch the hardware so this is how you do it and after that from there i'm running my 
Genosis validator over here, you can see that if you don't, if you have the DM node itself for application, if let's say you do not want to purchase their uh, hardware itself, and basically I would say their software itself is free for all, it's open source, you can install it on whatever PC that is lying around that you are not using, just make sure that it will be reliable to run for uh, next few years, and after that from there, make sure that the uh, specs inside is more than enough to support the Genosis uh, validator itself. So over here, I'm just going to go through with you the backend. So on the dashboard itself, we can see all of the current stuff that is on the, my dm node itself and of course from this page itself if you head over to the sticker page you click on genosis chain itself we can see that as of now you can just download the execution clients over here and of course choosing the consensus client over here basically using uh prism uh, maybe you want to use lighthouse or maybe take good up to you just do it and after that from there you need to download this remote signer uh basically over here just click on sticker itself if you have the uh software running you can just click on sticker and just click on the option that you want and after that enter your free recipient itself this over here has to be one of the wallet that you control fully because on top of earning genosis as reward itself you are earning also x die token for basically validating and of course proposing blocks and after that your gravity itself just set it as default if you want to for my case i want to make my name out there that's why i put sd crypto on the M node and of course this checkpoint thing itself you can basically use the default as mine uh, copy mine or something like that and of course from that this is how i run my genosis token uh validator itself is fairly simple to basically set it up a few clicks and i'm done instead of following the true uh, full guide over here talking about oh you need to paste this in the terminal window nano what is this and of course scroll down itself oh there's this cd sudo and after that from there for following step by step and of course from my experience in um setting up notes itself step by step doesn't really work always because some from time to time the software has been upgraded and after that there's some stuff that is uh, basically redirected and the directory have changed their names or stuff like this and of course without much knowledge itself you do not know actually what you are really doing and of course from there you might be making some mistake and eventually you, you will basically be losing out in money if let's say you are, have not set it up uh, on the spot itself so i would say uh, if let's say you want to start uh, running your genesis node itself do not send it towards the beacon chain um to, to basically send it to become a validator yet until you set up your hardware and of course make sure it is fully synced so on dm node itself you click on the dashboard you can see that your lighthouse uh genesis and after that from there your nether mine nether mine xdi itself will be fully synced and after that over here once it's done itself you can basically deposit the funds towards your validate the beacon chain and of course one is on the bigger chain you will need to wait at least 8 to 12 hours to basically validate so without further ado we're gonna basically jump into the most exciting part of the video itself talking about how much am i making running this uh, genosis validator nodes so we here i have this uh key management itself basically all of my private keys slash keys that is basically put in to basically do the validating and of course block proposal over here is an option to basically click on it to basically generate a summary dashboard and once i click on it i'm going to be directed to this beacon.genosischain.com <coughs> and of course over here it's going to be showing all of my genosis uh, validators and of course you can see that i thought the requirement is only one genos but of course over here once you send it to the beacon chain itself you can see one genos equals to 32 m geno token and after that from there this is how it is calculated and of course, when you send your funds into the beacon chain to stake itself, yes, you are sending one genosis on chain itself, sending it towards the beacon chain, it will automatically be converted to 32 M Gino. And of course, this seems familiar, like Ethereum 2.0, you need to have 32 Ethereum. So I would say Genos itself is basically a fork of Ethereum itself. And after that, from there, I would say whatever is happening, the consensus, the code itself is almost similar to Ethereum 2.0. And after that, from there, I would say it's uh one of one of the projects that has lower minimum entry for those who are looking to basically generate some passive income and of course if let's say you want to look at how much am i earning so we can see income seven days this is amount of like mgnos so remember mgnos itself is one equals 32 so i've already done a spreadsheet basically compiling all of the data and of course a very clear uh how much am i earning how much am i earning dailies and stuff like this on the spreadsheet so you guys can have a better overview because on the dashboard itself you can't really see uh, how much am I really earning in Genos token? And of course, on top of that, if let's say you are basically proposing blocks, this time I'm just going to click on whatever it is. So over here, you can see on block proposal itself, when you when every time you propose a block itself, you are basically getting additional income from your daily income. And after that, from that, this is on the Genosis side itself. And of course, the merge has already happened for Genosis. Therefore, 
if let's say you head over to the main chain itself, if you refresh the page itself, you can see that on the free recipient address itself, you might see this thing called the validator blocks. If you click on it itself, every time your validator propose, proposes, uh, basically proposes a block or basically uh, validated a block itself, you will basically be rewarded with X die token. And of course, it's not much because there's not much usage on the um, Genosis chain itself, on the Genosis uh, sub chain, I will call it the main chain instead of the beacon chain. I mean, beacon chain itself is only purely for validator to validate stuff itself. And after that, from there, I will say every time you propose on the beacon chain, it, it will pick, pick it up. And after that, from there, it works hand with hand on the main chain itself, the execution layer or consensus layer, whatever you want to call it. So we get this is gonna happen, and after that, today you will get rewarded with some X die. Not much, but of course, this is a stable coin. That you, I mean, it's a stable coin. Therefore, you can see it's very little. It's less than ten cent, less than a cent, and you might be thinking it's not incentivized enough. But of course, just look at it. Look at it in the picture itself. As of today, the price of Genos itself is only eighty eight dollars. And how much do you really expect to make out of eighty eight dollars by running a um, node itself? So I'm gonna show you the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet itself, we can see over here. I basically have 18 validators over here. Yep, 18 validators running. And after that, over here, we can see that some of the validators has already been running for many days. And after that, some just recently. So over here recently, I saw the price of Genosis dump. And of course, I picked up a few. And of course, from there, you can see the starting balance is in MGNO. I already mentioned one Genosis token equals to 32 MGNO. And after that, over here, we can see the uh, balance as of today recorded on 12, 12 basically around 6.02 p.m. And of course, from there, we can see that this over here is basically talking about the profit in MGNO. And after that, I've really calculated if let's say I convert it towards the Genosis token itself, how much am I earning? So over here for 275 days itself, I'm making almost 3.4448 MGNO. And if I convert it towards Genosis uh, actual price itself, it is basically 0 0.1 Genos token. And after that, you might be thinking, okay, so how much is this 0 0.1 Genos token? So I'm going to pull this over here. Almost a year of running. Over here, you can see 0 0.1. Basically, it's almost $8 of this uh, Genos uh, validator itself. Basically, you can say in a year itself, it's almost making like maybe 8, 8 to maybe 10%. And of course, that additional, com uh, adding this, these bonuses that I get from this, uh, not much, but of course, just add up a little bit more to the towards the numbers itself. So over here on the daily average itself, I'm getting like 0 0.000. 000, 000, 000, 000 very many zeros and after that there we can see how much is it daily so on daily itself you are making almost three cents and after that, you might be thinking it is not worth it but of course we have to note that whatever you are earning here you are earning in the genos token and after that from there when the withdrawal is about to happen or something like that you can basically unstake your tokens and after that from there you can sell it off if the price of genos itself increases basically your yield increases as well if the price of genos deep uh, further down itself Yes, there goes your yield itself. So over here, there's some risk involved into this type of validator itself. So over here, you can see in the total of these 18 validators that I have from 274 days all the way to 16 days itself, it's basically generated me almost 0 0.77 genos. And after that, we can just do a map over here. 0 0.77, so almost $60 of my investment. So how much was my investment? To be honest, calculate the price of today's uh, Genos token itself, we can just do a simple calculation. 18 of it times this price. So almost a thousand over dollars being spent on this Genosis uh, validator. Uh, the coins itself itself, uh, without the hardware itself, if you compare, yeah, then the hardware itself is going to be almost like uh, three or four thousand. And after that, I'm just going to talk about the price itself. The price of this Genos that I spent on, basically you can say it's around this level. Or maybe higher because I bought it at a higher price. So we're just gonna talk about if let's say you run 18 validators today, this is the reward that you might expect. Basically, it's 60 over dollars for almost this amount of time being put in. So we hear there's some that being 200 over days, and after that there's some just recently. So I would say on average itself, you are basically clocking in maybe 8% towards 10% in APY. And after that, I would say not so bad, to be honest. It's quite decent. And after that, from there, we can see that this is just the total. And of course, this is the daily average. And we can see on the daily average itself, it is slightly different from validators to validators because how, is, how it works itself on the Genosis chain itself, when every time you validate itself, this block proposal itself is a random event, the same thing as Ethereum itself. So the base itself, we might see that on their validator itself, we can see overview. So 
Coco over here, you can't really see much over here. You can see the, the APR itself is at 0%, but of course, it's not really updated. But from my understanding previously, people are looking at around 6 percent of APR and after that from there why does why does it have a range not a fixed one because if let's say you talk about validator itself on Ethereum itself you might see some people earning tons of money on Ethereum itself because they basically are lucky basically within a month itself they managed to propose like uh, maybe three or even five blocks in total and of course with this proposal of block itself they are getting rewarded with an additional bonus of block proposal and on top of that on the main chain itself they are also getting a reward of this a validation of this block itself so depending on how much fee is being spent on that particular block that you have proposed you will basically earn that amount of fee that is being uh, set as the block reward so we here let's say there's uh, the whole block is filled and after that from there we can see that maybe this block itself has $200 in DAI transaction itself in the future if let's say more people uses it it's just something that might happen and might not happen so you have to know this is some risk that you need to know of and after that over here we can see when you validate a block itself the, the fees itself you are getting this over here and of course on top of that you are earning a little bit more on the beacon chain therefore i would say the, the apr itself really ranges from six percent all the way to 15 or even 12 percent if you want to account the the what is that the beacon uh what is that the main chain itself, if you account the main chain itself, you might basically at slightly like a, maybe a 1 or even a 10% or not a 10%, maybe 0.1% or 0.2% on your APY itself, depending on how much you are generating from this proposal itself, how lucky you are. So we hear final thoughts itself, should you be running a validator? So we hear for those who are really looking to run, to think about running a validator or not, I will basically tell you frankly, if let's say you are here for a very, very long term, and of course from there you want to generate some passive income safely, um, like not relying on a centralized entity or something like that, definitely Genosis itself is one of the chain that you can consider basically buying and of course running the hardware to stick on it to validate your blocks itself. If not, if let's say you want to run other stuff like generating some passive income in a high riskier way itself, I would basically recommend Flint Finance, which is linked down below as well, to basically earn additional APY on your Bitcoin or Ethereum. And of course, I would say this is only for those who are willing to wait because on this Genosis, uh, Genosis itself, I would say it is basically a one-way ticket in as of now. So whenever you stick onto the beacon chain itself, you are sending your one Genos to basically convert it to 32M Genos and after that from there, the withdrawal itself has not happened yet because it is following the Ethereum uh, 2.0 footstep itself. So as of, we, as of now, we know Ethereum has already been merged and of course, uh, Genosis itself has been merged later on and of course, we can see that we are still awaiting for Ethereum 2.0 withdrawal protocol to be successfully implemented. And after that, once it is successfully implemented, Beacon Chain Genosis itself will implement the withdrawal mechanism. And of course, from there, it will be ranging from maybe six to a year, six, I mean, six months to a year later to basically see this kind of implementation taking place. So over here, if let's say you are willing to go for a long term and after that, you are willing to basically bet some, I would say it's definitely like a gamble itself. You are willing to bet your money on the Genosis ecosystem itself, seeing that it might grow in the future. Definitely, you can just buy a few because to be honest, just like 80 over dollars and after that from there, it's just like a few months of Starbucks or something like that if you want to basically run a, a validator. And I would say that if you want to run a validator itself, right now I would say it's pretty good time to run it because to be honest, comparing the market cap, I mean the total supply 3 million of this token that is available to everybody in the whole wide world. And as of today, it is only worth $88 and after that I would say, just do the math if let's say everybody got hype about this genosis everybody want a piece of genosis to run a validator or stuff like this you might know that the price itself might just skyrocket because if let's say the supply itself is is limited and the demand itself is uh, overpopulated definitely supply and demand you will know that and after that from there will cause the price to go up and up and of course this is just not financial advice just a personal opinion and of course some fundamentals of the market itself and of course without uh, but without Without dragging the video longer itself, I would say if let's say you are really interested in getting uh running a validator itself, buying a DM node itself is not only solely focused on running your Genosis validator. On top of that, they can run many, many other programs like uh Pocket Validator. And of course, you can run like your Ethereum 2.0. And of course, on top of that, there's a lot of other uh incentivized uh, ecosystem out there that is available on DM node. And of course, if you are a developer, you can basically build your own DMs on DM node as well. 
And yeah, basically I've come to the end of the video. If you like the video, kindly leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notification. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.